Well, so one of the things that I think is really cool about what you're saying there is, is sometimes when I'm talking to somebody that's looking for some business help or sales help or whatever, is I'll ask them about a personal mission statement. I'll, I'll ask them if they know what their company's mission statement is, which is equally important. I mean, you hitched your wagon up to this company, so why? But then what's your personal mission statement? Are you doing this because you want to save the world? Are you doing it because you want to be the best at this? But whatever that is, you, you should know and you should analyze that. So okay. very cool stuff. I love the tips and I love the water analogy because you're right. You know, I mean, how d- does does the... Dasani or whatever tastes any different than this? I don't know, but at the end of the day, they've marketed themselves well, so cool stuff. Yep, All right, cool. All right, so what else you got? Well, so that's exactly the second step. Once you've established who you are, what your mission is, what's your big why, mm-hmm. the easy way to put it. And then that's when you start to establish your marketing strategy. And I want to emphasize the word strategy. Mm-hmm. Marketing is not going in a TikTok and showing a video because you're supposed to do so. Mm-hmm. It's laying out what, based on who you are, based on what your strengths are. Like some people should not be on TikTok. Some people should and they're not. So that's where you understand what your marketing strategy is. You strategize your concept. You strategize your efforts. What is that message based on your mission statement? What do you want to convey out there? Mm. Like some people would be great educators for investors. Some should not touch that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And like... And then from there, we will go to the target audience. Who are you speaking to? Mm-hmm. So it's basic who, what, how. That's what Procter Gamble taught me. Mm-hmm. With their huge billion dollar campaigns of, you know, who doesn't know the bears from the Charmin? And it's always the bear from the Charmin, you know? Yeah. So that's how they always portray one single message. What are they saying? Who are they saying to? And how is they doing it? Mm-hmm. That's what you should uh, apply to yourself. I, I really, really like that. And and going back one step, I do think that uh, I see a lot of conflicting marketing messages from uh, companies that are new. And the reason that's happening is because they're just trying everything. You know, they they're don't so know desperate. Who you are. Well, well, exactly. Are. Sorry, yeah. Well, yeah. And, and so what's happening is they're like, we tried this and that didn't work. Okay, mm-hmm. so let's try this message and that didn't work. And then, but it, it's sometimes you, you got to go back to that mission. Who are we? What What is our vision? You know, we're talking about mission statements. What's your vision yes. statement? What are your values, yes. right? And we can have these personally. But as an agent, you were able to go in and say, this is who I am then you put it out to the world and then you know your customers so you got to know how to reach your customers what's a tip for uh three basic very good steps there by the way how did you go about doing it with your customers my customers yeah you know your people that you're trying to attract when you go on to social media and things what how did you convey yourself um I believe my key value is authenticity. Mm -hmm. I am very open with who I am, what I have achieved, why I'm doing that. And the second element is courage. Mm -hmm. And those two things are virtues that I attract in people. Yeah. I don't advertise myself, hey, I'm selling and buying real estate, call me if you need. Although call me if you need. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, I just say, hey, buying a house shouldn't be scary. Buying a house can be stressful, but it doesn't have to be. Mm -hmm. Have you been renting for 20 years? Are you nuts? Let me tell you how to do it. Let me tell you how the steps could be done. I built my credit score to the 800s in less than a year, Mm -hmm. coming from zero because I literally didn't have one. Right. Right, right. So it shocks me how people with good careers, good jobs, two partners are still renting. They have great scores, but sitting on it or they are working towards like paying down their house. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, and then you do what? And uh, it's like, uh, oh, then we will st- have a house paid off, and then we will be able to take a vacation, and then we'll be taken to travel. So it blows my mind how people are working nine to five. They spend two hours a day in traffic, and then one hour over dinner shuffling uh, food and just trying to get over with the day. Mm-hmm. And then uh, weekends come by, and then they spend time doing laundry chores. And then, well, once once in a year, we're now going to go for a cruise. And then someday maybe we will retire and maybe we will not have debts anymore. And then maybe we'll be 58 or 78 and climb the, I don't know, Machu Picchu. Right. No, you're not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. So those are the things when I, um, kind of losing the tracks here, I'm sorry. But that, that mentality, again, mm-hmm. is what I'm filtering, infusing into the messages I'm portraying, the videos I'm shooting, the messages I'm saying is all about life is now. 
Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Like I have been at the verge of life and death too many times. So I know the value of it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm getting like goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. But I cannot express enough how people are just taking their life for granted. They make plans and strategies, but assuming they will be 55 and retire and go travel Europe. No, you may not. Mm-hmm. The wor- like world is scary by itself, but like there are like your, your, ma- your mental capacity, your physical capacity just wouldn't, may not allow you to do that. So you may want to invest in fitness. You may want to invest in better diet. You may want to invest in a way into real estate that you can pay off your vacations every year, yeah, every yeah. month, take a month off while today, not in 10 years when you retire and finally pay out your house. Don't pay out your house. <laughs> invest it in yourself, invest it in time, quality time with your family and friends. Man, so many good topics today, for sure. <laughs> and you talked about setting a plan and right. and a little bit of uh, uh, you know, knowing yourself. And we had Michaela Kate Schaefer on the other day and she talked about know thyself. And so she had some great topics and I think that's important. And uh, you've been courageous. You've done the things and you put yourself out there. And I appreciate it. I know there are probably more tips you have and things, but I I, I love the topic as it is right there. And I think you hit a lot of great notes for people, not just looking at getting into real estate, but looking at making a splash in whatever business they're doing. But it always starts with really understanding yourself and, and being true to that. So... Very cool stuff. She's the cute toughy. <laughs> That's uh, Agent Isana. It's been great having you on the show today, and we'll definitely have you back on again sometime if you'd like to come on with us. Thank you, Rob. My pleasure. Awesome. Awesome stuff. And by the way, guys, um, if you want to reach out to Agent Isana, they can find you where? Agentisana.realtor or 843-433-0555. If you are having any personal issues, if you are struggling with your business, if you're a real estate agent, seasoned newbie, considering real estate or any other business, reach out. And, and I love that. And by the way, those three things are all there. If you're looking for real estate, if you're looking for some support, if you just need to talk to somebody about domestic violence, and look, if you just need some business advice, sounds like you're, you're handling all three. Well, good okay. stuff. Well, I'm going to kind of uh, wrap with a concept here. And uh, this one came from Albert, Albert Einstein. I want to set the table for this as, as a final thought for the show. And he's talking about here about copying other people. And I'm going to go right to your point. You said, don't just go out and say, well, Isana did it, so therefore I'm going to do exactly what she did, and I'll have the same result. But find what you should be doing for yourself. And so Albert Einstein said, if you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to other people or things. And I think we can all grow from that. Have a goal, set it, understand why you're setting it, and be your best. So very cool stuff. Isana, thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Rob. Good to see you. And we do want to thank all of our sponsors, uh, Carolina-based real estate and construction. Also, thank you to Design the Sign, one of our leaders list companies for the fancy hats and the sunglasses too. And uh, join us on the leaders list if you want to find the best leading companies in their industries. And we will look forward to seeing you all next time on the Leader Mentality Show.